Hillsdale County is home to rich history, small towns, and miles of fields and forest. But in the 19th century, it was also home to a notorious outlaw and horse thief named Sile Doty. Doty started his life and his criminal career in Vermont, where he was born in 1800. It seems he began his life of crime just because he loved the thrill and excitement that came with stealing. He was known to steal from his siblings and his school teachers when he was young. At age nine, his family moved to New York where he began stealing animals to sell for fur. Up until he was a teenager, he worked alone. But in 1815, Doty joined a band of thieves in New York. In no time at all, he became the leader of this group and took his mischief to New England and the mid-Atlantic states. Wanting to up the thrill of his criminal pursuits, Doty learned blacksmithing. He used these skills to make a complete set of skeleton keys and burglary tools. His knowledge as a blacksmith helped him in the rest of his lifelong crime career. For the next five years, Doty broke into countless homes, businesses, and stables throughout New York and New England. Looking for a little more excitement, he traveled to Kingston, Ontario and stole a boat. He sailed it back to New York, collected what he needed, and then sank it. Later that year, Doty realized his victims were catching on, so he and his gang decided to set sail to England. They stayed there for about a year, committing burglaries throughout London before traveling back to New York in 1824. When spring came, he settled down in New York and married a woman named Sophia Adams in 1825. Although Doty tried to be satisfied with a simple life of farming, his thirst for a thrilling, rebellious adventure could not be quenched. He continued running from the law as he pursued a life filled with theft. His crimes started to catch up with him again, so he and his wife moved to Adrian, Michigan. One year later, he moved to Indiana where he continued to farm. He hired a man named Lorenzo G. Noyes. It did not take long for Noyes to find out about Doty's criminal history, and when he did, he threatened to tell the authorities. Before he could do anything, Doty killed him by striking him with a hickory walking stick, and then he hid the body in a swamp. Doty wasn't discovered for the murder right away, but two years later, he was put in jail for the first time on account of an unrelated theft. He wasn't there long because he was able to escape to Indiana. However, he ended up in jail again later that year for stealing a large amount of buffalo. While he was in jail, the body of Noyes was discovered and Doty was the main suspect. He was eventually convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. In 1845, he was granted a retrial, so he was then transferred to a jail. He was able to escape jail but was soon identified and brought back. Using two knives hidden under his belt, he escaped jail again for the third time and headed off to fight in the Mexican-American War. Congress had passed a law for giving all past offenses to those who enlisted, so Doty wrote back home to tell everybody that he enlisted in the war. But that was a lie. He planned to return to crime. In 1849, Doty was arrested for robbery and spent several nights in jail in Hillsdale, Michigan. He was able to get bailed out and had his trial postponed multiple times. During the years that he was waiting for his trial, his criminal activity did not cease. When his trial finally came to be in 1851, he was sentenced to 17 years in a state prison in Jackson, Michigan. Although he still continued to steal while in prison, he was released two years early in 1866 for good behavior. When he wasn't stealing horses or causing a ruckus, he was working on his autobiography called The Life of Sile Doty, the most noted thief and daring burglar of his time. Doty continued to be a thief until the day he died at the age of 75. He resided in Redding, Michigan, where he committed most of his crimes in the last years of his life.
Hillsdale alumnus and famous American poet Will Carlton wrote an article in the Hillsdale Standard about Sile Doty. It was titled, A Reminiscence of a Notorious Character. In the article, he said Doty could duplicate any key, ride any horse, swim any river, and steal any neighborhood hungry, naked, and blind in one night. There is a cave in Hillsdale County called Doty Cave. It is believed to be the cave where Doty would hide the horses he would steal. It's much smaller than it used to be because it was destroyed in hopes that Doty would find somewhere else to bring his crime. More than 150 years after he used it as a criminal hideout, people continued to hike the Sile Doty Cave in Hillsdale County, and they often post about their adventures online. Although Doty Cave is nowhere near big enough to hold dozens of horses, it still exists today as part of the North Country Trails in Hillsdale County. Sile Doty's mark remains on the landscape of Hillsdale County even now.